Hello everybody and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Alpha 18 with me Lady Shilab and the great and wonderful Avat. Hello everyone. Who was a trooper, trooper last episode, electrocu him, <laughs> electromacuting himself. Ah, uh, we can go with electromacuting, it actually sounds a lot more fun than it, yep. than electrocuting, yep. which sounds really painful, because it was. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, I'm super happy with what we've got. Right now, I mean, it's very hodgepodge. The generator isn't in, in the right spot and, and various bits and bobs need a bit of work. But by and large, yes. we now have a setup that will do what we needed to do. And that is electrify zombies uh, as we uh, move around. Now, in today's episode... We are considering just going and doing quests for a bit. We've done a lot of base work and uh, loads of base work. It's about work so time much. for us to get a little bit uh, more stuff done. But uh, before I do, I notice a couple of the concrete slabs are uh, sorry, concrete blocks have since They've dried. dried. So I'm just going to go ahead and do those now because it takes time, and so there's no point in waiting on that. Um, no. If I get that done now, then it's just time I'm not going to have to spend. They can just day. dry while we're out, basically. There we go. But we've got plans. Now, uh, maybe before the, the Horde night, we will have moved the generator all the way back to the second fallback position. It'll probably still be in a temporary setup back there, but we will then use electrical relays to carry the power in more or less the way we want the power to be carried to the front. And we will hook up some lighting and all sorts of wonderful gizmos and gadgets but that will be something for a later for now for though, a future episode. yeah for now we are going to head back to the base uh Sheila, did you grab your bike or did you leave it oh you grabbed your bike well done you i know. grabbed yep. it i'm gonna grab mine as well it was right in the way so <laughs> <laughs> i was like get out the That's way the best place to put something to make sure you don't forget about it make sure i don't forget it but yeah. if this water is as slowing for the zombies as it is for us this moat is going to be amazing for our base defense. Well, apparently, electricity, electric fences are more slowing for zombies than they are to players. Uh, electric fences so, or water? Because I was talking about water. Ele uh, I think the electric fence part of it, but but when that's combined with the water, if the water's slowing them as much as it is us, and then the yeah. fences are even more slowing. Yeah, no, it than should they are be with us. amazing. Absolutely. I think amazing. it'll be pretty cool. One of these days, though, there's going to be a game where they take a kind of a perspective of oh yeah the the the, the dead and the the undead and all of this sort of stuff and it's like yeah electrical impulses have, have kind of slowed the the synapses of of decayed things like that and then you shock them and it actually makes them faster because it's like oh they've actually got some some energy in the old uh, electric circuit that is their brain suddenly it's working again and they that start would pumping. be terrible no, i think it'd be great i think we should definitely oh, man, suggest all the this word gone Suggested to the mods, hey, mods, how about instead of electricity debuffing the zombies, it makes them better? I can't imagine that would go Don't wrong at all. Don't give them ideas. I imagine everyone would be on board with that plan. Uh, right. Yeah, totes. She lab. Take a decent amount of food, because if we're going out for a good while, we're going to want some good okay. norms. Well, I got no firewood for my forges, so I need to chop down a tree. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. No, no, that'll be fine. I'm going to grab... You know what, I'm going to bring the mineral water and I'm going to bring a bunch of the, the cans of food. Let's find some decent ones, ones that have a lot of uh, uh, energy. Um, most of them are the same. Okay, well, I'll bring all the cans. Well, no, no, not the cans of sham. We'll bring the cans of salmon as well. So I've got seven boiled meat, five cans of salmon, a lot of beer. Um, some mineral water, some boiled water. Unfortunately, we are lacking the tea. It makes me ultra sad. Ultra sad. Oh, wait. Aha! Red tea! I thought ahead. Fantastic. <laughs> Passed me. I think I, I told you to make more red tea, didn't hey, I? Don't, I don't like, try to, make don't more try red to tea. steal my, my glory. How dare. My lord. I'm pretty sure I did. That she laughs. <laughs> can't trust her. I'm going to set up a bunch of golden rod as well. Then, as She's well. so shady. <laughs> Such a shady, shady Lately. lady. Uh, no, I can't. Actually, I can't I can't uh, have that one because that's um, Hannah. And, yeah, uh, I think that, that one's already, already trademarked. They're, the shade. They're already the shady ladies. I can't have that oh, one. Sorry. Darn it. Maybe um, I can join them. We need... What do we need for this adventure? Honestly, I really need some more um, iron arrowheads before we go out, I'll be honest with you, because I am suffering with um, crossbow bolts. So could you set up a bunch of iron oh. arrowheads to be made? 
I just cancelled the, yeah. the forged iron. Uh, just make the iron arrowheads in the forge that was making the forged iron. Because uh, oh, they made it in make a forge. Them in there? Yeah, made it in a forge. And once that's done, queue up a, a bunch of forged iron behind it. Like maybe 70. How many do you want? 70 is fine. Like 70 arrowheads, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 70 is fine. And then the rest into a forged iron. Yeah, I don't want to, I want, don't want to gimp our supplies there. That'd be 30, 36 forged iron. We're going to have to do an episode, probably that next episode after we've done. That's absolutely why I'm bringing my wrench. I'm going to take apart every car I see. Every car. Uh, I strongly that. recommend I, yeah, you bring a wrench. wrench as well. I have a wrench. Since we're going to be gone for quite car, some time, too. let's make sure that we've got a load of stuff going on. I don't need a steel spear. What do uh, I need that for, man? Uh, you know what? Sure, we'll pop all of that in there. I mean, even top up the stones to be smelted. Um, oh, no. Have we... Uh, we're actually starting to run out of stone. Wow. Well, just as well that I intend mm -hmm. to excavate significant amounts of the cavity. Above the I was going to say, there might still be some actually in the horde base anyway. Like, we might have some Bring over there. Scale. I don't know how much of it you brought back last time. Uh, stuff with us. Some vitamins for Sheenab's tummy, because I'm starting to become significantly less worried about any kind of. Uh, about bad your food. tummy. <laughs> I'm adapting to the wasteland. I can't afford to cry, nor can I afford to get sick I anymore. Just... My body yeah, will have I'll to adapt. I'm basically becoming a super immune Fremen. Water is too precious to waste on tears. I might get some more. Food is too precious to waste in vomit. <laughs> yeah, but but I'm being all intellectual. Intellectuals have bad tummies. It's okay. Right? <laughs> I'm not sure about that one, but sure, okay. I think you can it have a big an brain anime. and big muscles, what it was, personally. Where there was this really, really like intelligent, really clever guy, but he always had a really bad stomach. I can't remember what it was. Right, there we go. That is set. You know what? That's going to take a while. I'm going to set that up there. Um, take my tools with I'm me. I'm going to set up the forge to last a solid... You know what? Why not set it up to last... The whole time we're away. So the whole episode, I'm going to put an hour's worth of wood into the forge that is smelting stone. Okay. I'm going to go and be eco-friendly and plant some trees. Okay. I, I approve. Actually, I'm going to take some. Rather than just putting them in the chest and letting you do that job. Thank you. I do appreciate this. I know. I'm awesome. <laughs> I also appreciate your confidence. I'm the, I'm the best. I'm the best. Yeah. Right, okay, there we so. go. <laughs> I do need to grab some more wood, but uh, have you got any extra wood, sheet up? No, I put it all into the output slot of the forge because I thought that would be a really handy place to have some wood. Okay, yeah, I did much the same, so I need to take some of that back. We're not going to have a full hour then i'm gonna set up the workbench now we're gonna be going out and doing a level three mission i fully expect that this is going to take a long time all day yeah um but she lab if you want you could go and grab a bit of extra uh, like a quest for yourself if you don't already have one i'm gonna go and grab all right yeah i'll head to the shader a... well actually i'll check first if i do have one i'm gonna grab a bit more um wood where's the tool chest there we go. Chainsaw. Do we have any fuel? We do. Okay, I seem to have a tier one clear quest and a tier two fetch quest, so I imagine that's one from each trader. Yeah, okay then. I do not have one from the other trader yet, so I'm just uh, going to use the uh, the chainsaw to quickly gather a load of wood. They are much better sounding, actually, from the sound. They are, that. aren't they? This is so much better mm -hmm. than it used to be. These are only 900 health trees, so we're not getting the, the most out of this that we could, but it's fine. I, I'm going to be able it, to... It, it's a vulture it trap. Quickly. Yeah. Vulture trap. Well, to be honest, that makes a lot of sense that the vultures might... Uh, the vultures trapped me there. there. Now, if Seven Days to Die was the sort of game where... Oh, these ones... Look, yeah. <laughs> these ones are pre-update trees, so they've got like one hit point. But um, if uh, trees and other such things affected the biomes... Like, if you planted a lot of trees, you'd suddenly get more deer. I would 100% have this place it would be a, 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 a verdant Garden of Eden. But alas, that is not the case. 
It'd be like the new New Forest. <laughs> yeah, sure. Beers and balls. That was the hunting ground of and kings. Oh, much. There we go. Uh, I'll just grab one or two more trees. Just clear out this area so we can actually see our home. Though, mm -hmm. honestly, that home might not be our home for very much longer. We may be. No, I think out. Uh, I think we might move into the hall base once we excavate a bit more. This is taking a deceptively long time for me to carve this tree down. I'm gathering stones. I knew it. I knew it. You cheeky little rock. Why? <laughs> Why like am a I gathering? cheeky rock underneath the tree. <laughs> I... No, I mean uh, the rock hello. is the tree. What? What the dickens? How can I? You annoying rock. <laughs> I can't believe that. I was like, this this seems wrong. Is my tool degraded? No. Okay. Am I hitting the rock? No. It's not making weird weird sounds. I must be hitting the tree, but surely no. Mr. Avak, I sent you a party invite. Okay, I will take it now. Thank you very much. There we are. And then also, um, I will need to share the quest with you. Okay, I will do the same. I will go and grab a quest from the other trader as well. And that'll give us a little bit more time okay. to get everything ready. Uh, are you full on food? Oh, I've leveled up. Hooray! Yeah, I'm full on food. I've got a little bit more with me as well. Okay. There we are. I think this is going to be pretty much about as much wood as we're going to need for a very long time. But it's good to have uh, cleared it out and to have also, you know, yeah. cleared out some of the older we'll trees. We'll use all the wood. We'll use all the wood, so it's cool. I wish there was a way to... Do you... I think, actually, there is a way to unload it. I think I just did. I'll pop that down there. Yes, perfect. So that fuel is now available. I will accept the quest in a moment once I've planted the new new forest. Don't mind me. See, that place over there is called Shade Tree Auto. Does that mean this is the town of Shade Tree? That would be Shade wonderful. Shade Tree Village. I would, I would love that because I'm big into having names for places. I like to know I if know, I, I thought think... pitch battle, what that pitch battle's name should be. It needs to be the name of the place. That you I think it. we should, we should call it. Well, there's mountains around, so let's call it um, Shade Tree Valley. Okay, I can't, I can't see any other mountains to make it a valley, but sure. Main, okay. Um, well, I'm fine what, with calling it Shade call Tree it other Valley. Than valley. Okay. Places don't necessarily need names that make sense. I mean. Places in Wales yeah. do, because it's basically how we navigate. But places elsewhere don't. You know, places with maps and stuff, though. <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> how dare <laughs> Sorry. My people have, have a rich and, 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 and expansive oral tradition. Then Writing is people super from useless, England have to bring except, them down you know, so in that, case you know... everyone dies. And then all the knowledge dies because they die. <laughs> okay, I'm seeing a flaw. But damn it. It's much prettier when you share news via bards. Uh, okay, yeah, I've got a thousand wood. That's marvellous. That's all I need. And with that... Right, this forge can turn off. We've got 52... Uh, um, forged forged iron. iron there. Yep, and I'm going nice. to drop... Not. It was a little bit more in a chest somewhere, I think, as well. So we've probably got about 60 odd there, yeah, which is good. Um, but definitely could do with just like proper clearing out an iron deposit. Yeah. Uh, maybe this episode could be doing that level three quest. Next episode could be doing some digging and mining. And then there could be a, an episode about doing electrics to the base, I guess. Yeah, I'd be Vague totally plan. on board with that, actually. Yeah, that sounds like a really good plan. Oh, my iron's ready. Yes, excellent. Okay, okay, I'm more or less have, ready so... to go then, I would say. Me too. Yeah, let's go. Off we go. All right. Um, have you shared the quest with me? Uh, no, and I haven't accepted it. We're going to do that after yet. you pick up the next one. I will just accept them. Thank you. And thank you. And here's the tier three. There you go. Lovely, thank you. I will once again share the other quest with you. The, my, uh, like, uh, reading book quests uh, my reading book quest my my like scrap of paper quest i don't know what to call oh, it oh yeah you're like they used to be in magazines rather than notes but um that should be good enough all right my reading book quest it's not like millions that i shared with my mouth words your reading book your reading book <laughs> <laughs> quest that you shared with your mouth words 
Like it's but I, okay. Look, <laughs> people, give me a break. I got up not long ago. I have been working my my brain out of my ears. It's actually liquefied. I've had to scoop it up with a little cup and pour them back in several times. The problem is because my brain is leaked out, I forget to clamp my hand on my other ear, so it just pours straight through. It's been a time for me. Okay, I'm trying very I hard. I think the thing, like yeah, you have been working so super super hard lately. There are millions and zillions of streams and loads of content on YouTube. Thank you, Sheila. I <laughs> hope everybody appreciates it. I'm sure they do. I'm, I'm not I'm not trying to like, you need to appreciate me more. But more like, I'm sorry that my uh, my mouth words get, get mixed up with my I book will readings. Say, I will be like, you need to appreciate Alvac more. Oh, thank you. See? See? See, because I have to balance out all the horrible things I say. This is, oh, I was going to say, this is why Sheila is MVP, but honestly, this just brings Sheila back to neutral. Um, okay, <laughs> I believe my quest... It's, I don't believe there's an easy way to check the quests where they are done for. I'm going to quickly yeah, head so in here. Yeah, you have to just go to the trader and see, and see if... Like... Yeah, if this trader offers me another quest if not i'm gonna to head to the other one to pick up another quest because mm -hmm. if i can get get another level three quest then we might have two or so episodes of we uh, might be uh, yeah yeah have no work at this time cool that's fine then. um so it must be um yeah. old joel or whoever he is over in the snow biome i think it's trader hugh is it hugh yeah i think so uh right jen is the best trader i agree i am inclined to agree oh because of her Sheila? awesome voice what there you go Drink, drink, and then Thank eat, you. eat if you've got food. I think I already have like really high water and food. I've got 135 food, 168 water. My vitamins are still gonna. I just uh, got a skill okay, point, so I of... really should put it into iron gut actually. So boom, uh -huh. reduce food and water consumption uh, loss by 15 percent, and now I'm reducing dysentery chance by three percent. Oh, Great. wonderful! And good, uh, good work. My buffs last for 30 percent longer. Not bad. You'll you'll basically never need to eat. Oh, I, I really. I mean, it's not, you know. But I might not have to ever worry about vitamins. That's that's the goal yeah. right now. If I can get up to iron gut four, then I'm happy, because I can pretty much eat any safe food to eat. I'll be happy when uh, I get another three points whoa, 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 whoa. for intelligence ten. I've already marked this one. And then another two points for getting um, advanced engineering four and five. Mm -hmm. And then I'll be really happy because we can have steel. And then another couple points to get motorbikes. Or it might even just be one more point to get motorbikes once I've got steel. Yeah, I think it is, actually. Nice. One more point. Very nice indeed. Though once we get so, steel, there's so much is going to be upgraded in our base. Yeah, exactly. We can have um, motorbikes then in, I believe, six skill points time, six levels time. Very nice indeed. And uh, I believe the tools are in the strength tree. Um, so, given that you've had to invest so many points in high-level tree um, intelligence, points, so, yeah. you know, it's like two points per level, not just one. I'll grab some early levels in strength just so that I can get our levels of tools up and such like that. Um, rather yeah, than you have wonderful. to go into yet another thing. Yeah, because I'd love to just have some freedom to go into perception a bit more yeah. for my rifles. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, on that point, we need to get uh, like a two-time scope so I can use my crossbow a bit better. Oh, yes. I wonder how, what I need to make that for you. I'll try not to pee on your floor, but I can make no promises, mate. Um, right, I need to make it on the workbench. Forged iron, glue, broken glass and scrap polymers. All stuff we just have in the base. Um, do you want to do that after we do the, the quest, or do you want to do it? I could go and do that for you now if you wanted. If you could it might do eat it. a bit out I of mean, the day. That's fine, yeah, because I that would be amazing. If I could get a, a, a two-time scope on my crossbow, that would make me yeah. able to deal with long range as well. Right, uh, I picked up a quest, and I have also shared it. The quest is Wonderful. also in up. the town. So we've got two tier three quests now in town. And they're both right in the town, are they? Oh, that's cool, because that means I can uh, go and make you a scope and we'll still be kind of close. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to head back to home then. Let's mark that so I can see which one it is. And make you your yeah, scope. I wonder what one that is. Probably one of the van, actually. Not. 
All right. Uh, I'm heading back with you. I'm sorry it takes so long to get all of this sort of stuff uh, sorted out, but we're going out with the intention of not returning from scavenging for, a, for yeah. a while. Um, probably, I, I think it, it's safe to say with, with two tier three quests and two um, tier one it will slash be at least twos, two episodes it's two episodes worth yeah. of scavenging and questing. Probably three. So we'll see. Um, I'm quite yeah, content to go out Followed now. by a gathering episode and then an electric episode. Yeah. I'm quite content yeah. to go out and uh, take care of that with regards to the, the the horde base being as good as as we need it to be so yeah. even if a horde knight just c creeps up on us it's like okay then we go back to the horde base it's already where we need it for electricity and all of that sort of stuff we've upgraded it decently if we do no more work yeah. it is already a big upgrade over what it was um but i would like to get back there and do some proper it's a lot of like like the, things like proper lighting lighting. as well as being you know you might say that that's quite cosmetic but the better the lighting the better you can shoot at the zombies because you know, oh yeah absolutely absolutely plus um see them electric better. lighting it, i mean there are functional reasons this... to have electric lighting they don't take much power it does mean that you're going to need power all the time um and one thing you could do if you wanted to is you could set up lighting onto a timer switch so it only turns on at night time, for example, yeah. if you had windows and other things giving you light. In our case, we pretty much always want the lighting. Um, but with regards to um, function in terms of torches, torches are really bloody loud. They're very hot on the heat map, not in temperature, but also in sound crackling, all of that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. Whereas an electric lamp, not so. Very, very, very cold on the heat map. So it'll draw less attention if it was in your main base you'd get less screamers coming to visit as a result i want to put torches in there just so that they're attracted in but i, I, I mean you know, on horde night they, they yeah on horde night they come in so no heavily yeah i mean you yeah, can use it, the, the the right tool for the job if you're actively wanting regular mini hordes to come find you then set it up so it draws the uh, um screamer attention if you don't yeah. care for that then try to set it up so it's quiet um so on and so forth Eventually, we might migrate our main base into the horde base. Once the horde base can actually stand up for itself. And yeah. I'm thinking the bare minimum for that is going to be additional traps. So more than just an electric fence, but turrets and possibly blade traps. Because the the horde base we've got is a, it is a death pit. If we get stuck in it, we're in trouble. Hello, Zombo. Care you to be beaten up? A little bit of fisty cuffs, you know? Get the blood pumping. I mean, not yours. I'm specifically trying to stop yours. Sorry, I was trying to think about your scope then. You said um, you, Two you, times. we want like a back door. A back, no, no, a back door to the to the base. Was that what you were saying? I don't know. I was, thinking, I was we, specifically uh, saying that with our horde base, we want to make... Before we're ready to say, yeah, this is good enough, because we, as we fall back further and further, we get more and more painted into a corner of death in that horde base yeah whereas the previous horde base if it all went 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 uh went askew you could just jump over the wall and leg it you know or jump into your car and drive away um but in our horde base once we commit we c we're committed and that gives a very different kind of feel we need so much more protection in our horde base for it to be yeah this this horde base could stand the horde so on and so forth um maybe i will actually bring a Med kit. Uh, have I taken Why the let me make it? Are you using the right place? Am I being dumb? Like, is it maybe the chemistry set then? What, a scope? Yeah, like, I'm trying to use the workshop. Oh, have you got the... You, yeah, you've got it. So it should be... Or maybe it's in your hands. You need ten broken glass. Oh, five, I'll try it then. Yeah, polymers. I've got all the stuff on me. Maybe okay. it, I, I could have sworn it says... No, it says on it that it's got a picture of a table. I go into the table... And I can't make it. Um, okay, you can drop I'm the so items confused. and I can try to make it. Because it looks like I've learned it as well. We must have gotten two two things of that. Yeah, how odd. Um, so yeah, glue, broken glass, forged steel, uh, iron, sorry, and scrap polymers. Right, first and foremost, you've got forged steel instead of um. Oh, forged that's probably iron. why I can't make it. Additionally, you've got five broken glass Are and you... not ten. 
I didn't even realise. Well, we don't have enough broken glass then. Uh, just... Scrap a glass jar. I've got I six bro broken glass here. Just take four, okay. uh, four of them. And scrap them. But I'll drop a few because, you know, I'd, I'd like you to be able to make it. There you go. I haven't got the forged iron, obviously, because I just put the forged steel back. Yeah. But yeah, don't worry about that. That's that's a really easy mistake to make. Yeah, I just grabbed bars. I didn't realize we had forged steel yet. I, I think we got it last episode. Yeah, I bought it. It was reasonably expensive, but in my opinion, it was very much worth it. Yes. Um, so do we have any forged iron anywhere? Uh, yeah, I just popped it Where up there it? from the gone? from the forge. You made a bunch. Oh. Do you recall? Yes, I, d I did recall, but I wasn't sure where it had gone. Yeah, no, no, no <laughs> It's just... There you go. Everything should oh, be good. Oh, comedy, comedy of errors. Okay. Scope. I need to eat more food. Those down. Hopefully, I should be able to make it now. I'm gonna make a bunch more boiled meat again. Um, <sighs> it's not the best stuff, but it at least feeds us for now. Okay, it'll be done in a minute and a half. Excellent. That boiled meat shouldn't take too long. And at that point, I think we're more or less ready. Um, actually, I'm gonna make two bed rolls as well. That's a good idea. Now, by doing that, we're going to have to remember to reuse the bedrolls down here when we get back, like pick them up and put them back down. Yeah. But, you know, having two bedrolls with us for, for taking out purposes will be quite uh, quite good, just in case. Handy. We're about to walk yeah. into a very dangerous area. We can pop down the bedrolls and we're like... And they are getting more dangerous all the time. Yeah. And by the time we actually start these uh, this quest, it's going to be night time, so... <laughs> yes, that is an increasingly... Uh, realistic problem uh could you set up some more forged iron as well since we're here yeah if we've got the stuff in there yeah. to, to do it i shall while we're here i may as well keep things on the go i do hope no one That's minds okay. the uh, back and forth thing that we're doing right now sorry about that there's always there's always one more thing up. that you could do to prepare yourself for a for a big adventure. Yeah, and also to just prepare everything for when you come back as well, mm -hmm. and then yeah. All right, there we go. Two times scope. Let's get that on. My crossbow. Yeah, I'll probably make myself a two times scope for my crossbow as well, and then like we'll make some eight times for like marksman Fantastic. rifles and stuff. I approve. Okay, but right. I think we're ready to go, but I can hear something outside. No, I'll go in. That is going to be a little bit of a hole, on. I fancy. Oh, sorry. I okay. just shut the door right in your face. That's perfectly fine. I. Stop. I was going to say, it probably isn't a horde. Like, half the time, it's just one zombie being really it absolutely is a horde. noisy. Is it a horde? Mm -hmm. Oh, hello. How dare you doubt my, hello, my friend. zombie wrangling skills. Well, I mean, it, it was three. Three zombies. It's, it's a very small horde. Very cozy horde. Super cozy. Oh, actually, no, there's a couple more. Oh, yeah, yeah, there are, there are a couple. It's That's just what not you get close. for hitting me. And doing three hit points of damage. How dare you? Okay, do you feel, you feel validated that it was a small horde? Yes. Not managed to get many headshots here, so didn't manage to kill him particularly fast. They took a little bit of damage, but it's fine. Kills a kill. Yeah, kills a kill. Kills a kill. All right. Let's go. Uh, I'm still killing off the horde. Oh, man. Okay, I'm bringing my bike over. Okay. Oh, man. I was going to run her over, but I'm not going to do that anymore. He's not dead, he's just whacked on. He's dead now. Right. That's so fun. That is pretty fun, yeah. Right, I'm going to, well, I'm going to drop you a bedroll. There you are. Thank you I'm also going to drop you two beer. 
Just in case you decide to try the uh, drunken disorderly much. quest. I should the have done it there. Drunken disorderly, yep. Really? That was very silly of me. Oh well. Uh, I'll pop that beer in my hopper. And finally, I'm up to a point where I'm no longer hungry. <laughs> Lord, that took a while. Hurrah! That took a really Yeah, I actually time. have full stamina right now and uh, one point away from full health. Because nice. I'm one point away from full health. Zombie punched me! Uh, the next level I'll get, I'm going to put that into um, uh, regeneration. Like your fortitude and your yeah. Yeah, healing factor. Right, our uh, objective... Um, yeah, we, we, we can just kill him if you want. Thank you there for you the XP. Right, we'll get on down here, do our quest. For a zombie right there. Carl's Corn and Bob's Balls. These are locations that we haven't probably uh, investigated. I'm just going to drink this and I'm going to punch you in the face with my fists. My actual fists. There we are. Many times. There we are. You're dead. Did that complete my quest for me? Yeah, drunk and disorderly. Talk to a trader now. Uh, so we're not. I'm not going to have to be properly drunk going into a like a tier three quest. Yeah. That would potentially be very dangerous. Kill some bears. I'm gonna pop my bike out here. I'm gonna make a storage chest. I'm gonna make two. Because we may as well search out Carl's corn and Bob's boars when uh when yeah. we're done with all of this. And I will also strip down this sedan. On a hand? Sure. One one downside is it considers the drunk thing to be a buff, so it's lasting 33% longer. Well. Get some extra fuel. You can always have that for your uh, mini bike. Yeah. It shouldn't be hard for you to get the uh, to get the drunken disorderly quest, honestly. That should not be difficult at all. No. I'm going to pop the two chests here and here and lock them both. Same rules cool. as last time. Basically, dump everything into the first chest, and then and then anything that won't yeah anything stack. that doesn't stack in yeah. there, put elsewhere. Basically, just just work through it like okay. that. There you go. First chest being the one on the left, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Also, while I'm here, a little bit of uh, fat is always useful. And do I have my axe? I do. Got all my tools. Have you got yours? Yeah. Cool. There we are. Right. Okay. Let's uh, head in. I'm not gonna. I don't think we should bother. You know, pre-clearing. I don't think we need no. to. We're not at the stage where we need that anymore. Really. We don't need every little tiny yeah. bolt and whatever. Even though place. I just you know went over there to get a tire. Shh. Yeah. Shh. And I said just, shh. Like pickaxe no, up shh. like some bones on the floor. We're not talking about this. It's not being discussed. Uh, oh, which one is it? Is it the? Is this a, ho a whole big lot together? It might be actually, given that little uh, road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a. All right then. A connection. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. I approve. Ready? Yes. Clear area. Stay within. Okay. Uh, I guess we go up here. Go up the stairs. Mm -hmm. I have my fists ready. I have my thumbbaton ready. Little toilet. Some water. A tree. A bookcase. A gyrocopter okay. accessory schematic. Wow. Nice. Yeah, since that's a, a vehicle part, I may as well uh, learn that one. You may as well take that it. because I'm, yeah. Once I get the intelligence for it, it won't be long before I have enough for a gyrocopter. Now, in terms of Lucky Looter, are, are you the one who's got brass? Um, I'm taking Lucky Looter. I have the one for brass. Yes, I do. Okay. That's number three, isn't it? Yeah, so things like um, doors and the like have got brass handles. You could take those apart with your wrench. 
And since we're we're hurting for metal and we're starting to use electronic parts, I think pulling yeah. apart any generate uh, anything that produces them, TVs, refrigerators, anything like that, definitely worth it. Well, I'm sort of hitting this with my wrench, okay, but it's and not. Then your, your pickaxe, maybe. Uh, you, look at the brass maybe. doorknob itself. Yeah, I was. I was literally hovering right over okay. the brass doorknob. I'll just try to take it apart then, with whatever tool seems appropriate. Yeah. I'll just, uh, I'll take it apart with an axe. I mean, it's trial and error. There's plenty of doors around. It's not like it's a special door. Yeah, exactly. No, all I got from that was wood. Hmm. Let me just double check the skill. Okay. Yes, I know. We just said that we don't need to take everything apart. And yes, I know. Promptly following that, I started like you know stopping the harvest. No, it's find more brass in loot. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. No, do as I say, not as I do. Don't follow in my footsteps. They're dumb. By virtue of the fact that they're my footsteps. I'm gonna take away apart this solar panel. Because there are certain things that, with the right set of skills, you can just straight up get forged steel out of. But whether that's worth trying on everything, I really couldn't tell you. No, you have the doorknobs from doors. Oh. Level five of Wasteland Treasures. Oh, right. Okay. There is one in Lucky Looter that says brass and stuff. Right. Okay. okay it's okay, brass right, from right, loot. Right, yeah, right, that's right, brass right. from loot. I've got brass from loot. You've got the brass from door handles. Okay. So you might want to give that a go and see if see how that works. We'll do then. I'm just going to stalk up onto the roof, see if there are any cheeky uh, bits and bobs hidden anywhere, because you can never tell. Oh, something just woke up. Oop. You just woke everything up inside there. I'll um, just uh, Sorry about that. stand on the hill with my stun baton. Okay, I do apologize. I was moving as, quite, as quietly as I could. I'm not quite sure why that prompted everything to wake up. They smelled you, clearly. What Did you take you a shower trying? this morning? What? <laughs> oh, Lord. How dare you? If it wasn't for fear that I might actually do some damage, I'd have punched you for that one. Plonked you right on your, your metal helmet. I, it would have been worth the bruised knuckle. <laughs> Plonk. But I can't, I can't be sure that your helmet would actually do what in real life it would do. That is hurt me and not you. Uh, you scallywag. <sighs> Oh, it was fun. See, this is what she was talking about when it's like, oh yeah, I'm, 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 I'm gonna be really, really supportive of you just to make up for all the times when I'm not. I am maintaining the balance of the force. <laughs> Fair. Completely on board uh... with this. Hello. Okay, you to come out. All right. Oh, cool. We need to kill chili, chili to zombies, don't we? Do we have to do it with our fists? No, we don't, do we? Not for that one. I mean. You eventually do. Please die. You eventually die. Does she have friends? Probably. They're downstairs, though. Okay. Well, they're awake now, so... May as well just, like, guns hot. run through guns blazing, yeah. Also, you've got a light. That is not going to be especially helpful for us. People said that doesn't matter. <laughs> in the comments. Oh, no one in the true. comments is ever wrong, okay? That is true. Comments. I, I, I uh, accept the comments authority. Uh, let's grab this. Like, Oh, what did I get there? Scrap helmet, not that. You right down there? Yeah, there's loads of stuff down here. Right. Do you need help? No. Okay. She lab is confident. I shall not second guess her. Um. Hey, Brittany. What else we got? I think we've got everything that is a down here. What do you need about? Uh, I think the brass radiators are worth taking down. I could be wrong though. 
No, you get you get uh, radiators out of out of the radiators on walls, but you use a pick to get it. But that is brass. Aye. It's a decent amount of brass too. So let's grab that because that's bullet casings basically. Can I get the doorknobs? No. Okay, let me call some food in here. Try and tear this down. We'll see if I get any uh, brass bits off this. Yeah, I did. I got brass all off it. Fantastic. Well, that is absolutely worth me tearing down everything. Cool. What else is it awesome. I get brass from then? Wasteland treasures. Harvest doorknobs from most doors. Um, yeah, do you know many doorknobs that are past like hinges and making buttons? Okay. This is fantastic news. How's it going down here, Sheila? Good, I'm just killing everything. Just clearing it out for you. Thank you. Being like totally unstealthy and just beating everything with a big club, basically. It's okay, if that works, it's a hell of a lot faster than stalking around. Yeah, it's working pretty well right now, so... I'm just moving around behind you, scavenging the everything. Okay, I've got a Taurus, so I might just, uh, hunting rifle that one. Yeah, by all means. My hunting rifle would, uh, load, that would be lovely. The fact that doors is just a little bit more. give doorknobs now really does mean that no door is safe from cool. No door I save from Avac. Um... There is one downside to marking the positions of pretty much every source of uh, metal uh, or mineral that I find on the map. Is that my map compass is basically useless to me now <laughs> in terms of being a compass because it's so full of everything. Um, oh wow, there's like a whole underground complex here. Oh, there will be, yes. Yeah, it's, it's a level three. That's a given on a level three. That's why they take so long. She lab in the underground. She lab woke up everything in the underground. Well done, She lab. I have complete faith in you. Don't let me down. Okay. Let's take apart these radiators. Very specific shot in this thing. I'm loving how she looks just down there and all I hear is like a bow, bow, bow. There you go. Ooh, what did I get there? It's triple storage pocket. I think the underground is clear. And I didn't use any bullets, so that's great. I just learned I how to make uh, my stun baton in a minute though. Triple storage uh, mods, G Lab. Oh, really nice. Yeah. That's cool. That's actually going to be amazing because if we replace all of the pockets that we've got with triple storage, then we're realistically not going to have any kind of storage issues. Fantastic. Ooh, meat stew. How's your hunger? Um, I think it's reasonable right now. Uh, let me have a look. Um, my hunger, my food's 134 and my water's 158. Okay. Got a little bit of food on me too. Uh, my, my inventory is now full. Oh, okay. Hello, Feral. Oh dear. Okay. Meet my stun baton. You can tell when she is not entirely confident in her abilities because she gets louder. <laughs> well done. Die. Very well then. Do you think you could come and help me a little bit with... Uh, we're looting. We're looting sure, now. I'll pop back up. Thank yeah. you so much. She has basically cleared out this entire place by herself. To, have you managed to um, to get down into this uh, bit down below? Or are you still up at the in the house? Still up area? in the house area, in the kitchen right now. I'm being okay. quite thorough. I'm taking apart anything that might have metal in it. Because we need so much for If there's anything you want to like just drop and I'll take in my inventory, then feel free. Uh, where are you? Come into the kitchen. I'm just behind you. Okay. It is now night time. I'm really, I'm really, really glad that I did so much clearing out because uh, now it's night time <laughs> yeah. and it's going to be much harder to I do know, that. Right? Uh, so that was that was good forward that. planning. Not at all me take... just going on a rampage. <laughs> yeah, it's it's always good when your bloodlust can be justified in some way. 
Yes. Haha. <laughs> right, I'll drop all these. And that should be good. I mean, I've got more room if you want. Is that all right? Let me just have a quick look and make sure I'm not encumbering. Um, I'm a little bit encumbered. So am I. But That's we've fine, probably then. cleared everything out. But if you are in proper encumbered, then we should probably... I don't know if we've cleared there. everything out. There's we the, haven't. There was a feral that ran. We haven't. It hasn't told us we've cleared the area yet. Yeah. So, I got the feral, but there's there's probably a couple more zombies around her, I guess. Yeah. Give me a second. I've got a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff that we would have to deal with otherwise. Tearing... Everything apart as I go, so that once we cleared it, we can just leave. Yeah. Right, there we are. I'm gonna just go downstairs and loot a little okay, bit. Moving so um, softly now. Okay. Underground area. Odds are we're gonna have to come up in that um, little garage place back there yeah you look suspicious that would make the most sense yeah there was a zombie in here and then there was a zombie and a and a tourist in here and then there was a, a feral you did an amazing job though absolutely amazing i'm not going to take you. the time to tear down all the lights some of them can take a really long time to break down um that being said, I will give it a shot and just see if the lights here are those types. Ooh, ammo pile. She lab. If you want to check this, because you get nice. a bonus. To that. Yeah, I've got a, a thing for it, haven't I? Where did you find it? Oh, just here, beside it? me, yeah. It's in the uh, false surface. Um, yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah, nice. Seven, uh, 7.60s. Okay, cool. Yeah, these lights are not worth the effort taken to do it, so I'm going to stop that. Very certain faucets can give you a, a reasonable amount of uh, metal back when they're smelted. And pipes always do. If nothing else, a pipe is a pipe you don't have to make for something, uh, some project. Yeah. There we go. Okay, I'm done here. I'm moving on. Take apart this door. Notice that we didn't end up putting down our bed rolls. Hmm. Well, it may have been a it's bit not silly. that far away, though, is it? No, no, and, th and this area isn't that uh, that worrying, honestly. Again, these electrical components is quite nice, though, because they need forged steel to make, I believe. Yeah. So. They're realistically one of our only sources of it. He's taking apart some of his main thing. Plus, get a little bit of EXP every time you do it. Yeah. He's nice, got a little bit of glue. Okay. Are you still down in the basement area? I've gone down into the sort of uh, thingy oh, area pop, 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 down below. Okay. Yeah. Storage box, anything up there? No. Be down with you in a moment. Corner cupboards. Yeah, I can see a light to my side. Uh, trash, hard box, no, it doesn't matter. Anything behind here? No. Ooh. How uncommon. I was really expecting something up there. Oh man, I've got no room. <laughs> Yeah. I am pretty much full, but I can still scrap some things down. In fact, I'm going to scrap my, down my wooden frames as much as that is a silly thing to do. I'm also going to eat the meat stew at this point. That's freed up okay. a few spots. I, there are lots of things in my inventory that I don't care to keep. So I will drop if I need to. Oh gosh, it goes down a couple more levels from here. We might need to drop off. Uh, we can't. You go out, you fail the quest. Ah, all right then. So, as you're going through... We'll just carry on then. Yeah, as you encounter things... Oh, yeah, yeah, they dug into a pipe, I see. Nice. Yeah. As you encounter stuff, like uh, in chests and things, drop it off. 
So if you encounter a chest and you can't grab everything, just use that as an opportunity to empty out your inventory. Yeah, Hang on, just having a bit of a fight. That was a bit of a nasty feral, that yeah, one. Yeah, I recommend you fall back until you... Yeah, I'm a bit me. too hurt yeah. now, I would say. We've got plenty of medical supplies. Plenty of medical supplies, actually. So you come back. Yeah, they had some sort of really cool I've little uh, underground bunker down here. I like it. I like their style. Mm-hmm. I like their style, too. Let's see what we got in here. A level four scrap helmet. Well, that is a lot better than the one I gave you earlier. Right. Okay, the old sink back here. I'm going to start dropping things off in the old sink. Okay. It may be like... Um, compress our inventory sort of a bit. Compress, yeah. Right, you go ahead and uh, see what you can do with that. Yeah, I'll see if there's anything I can take that will stack. Yeah. Where's the old sink? Just, oh, I see it. Just, uh, yeah, you got it. Anything right, else worth like... tearing down? No, not really. Um, well, actually... Yeah, there was a few things I was able to take there. Excellent. Oh, wow. I really need to be pulling apart those brass lamps. Shall I put anything back? Have you got anything like electrical parts, mechanical parts? Uh, yeah, thing? almost certainly have. Um, I'll put them in scrap polymers and cloth fragments. Yeah. And brass radiators. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, see if there's any of that you can take. That's freed up some of my inventory a bit there. What we could do is designate certain types of goods. To be held by uh, yeah. certain people. Yep. I mean, I don't recommend ever attacking a flaming barrel in the future, but, you know. Uh, right, yeah, let's so have, have a look what here. you can take out of that lot. That's quite a lot. Here's a scrap Probably helmet stack. there. Uh, would it be alright if I gave you the food items? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, sure. And I'll take things that are non-food, but also that scrap helmet, because I know you're wearing those kinds of things. All right, there we go. Yeah, I don't think the scrap helmet is any better than what I've got. But... If not, I'll check it out, because uh, I actually have looked at it on, on mine. I do have, like, a full row of space right now. I'm going to drop things like... Um... A few of the mechanically parts that have come out of the cars. Yeah, by all means. And see if you can take those. Yep, got everything. Hey, on what's that? My inventory's completely full, but that's cool. That's fine. We'll make it. We'll make it work. Right, going. How far down this route did you clear? I've cleared all of this level, all the way down to the ladder down. Some dukes. And then I cleared a little bit of the ladder down as well because okay. I, I took out the feral. I'm attacking the Xiaomi boxes because they do occasionally have electronic parts or mechanical parts in them. Yeah. So these and ones... he was definitely a feral. Do you have a, uh, a painkiller yeah, at all? Yeah, no, I, I, that's what, one of the things it, I was but... telling him to... Ah, uh, oh, I left them on my right there. Are they in the sink? No, I left them in the bike like a derp. I've got medical oh, bandages, that's, that's though. That's fine. There you go. Oh, yeah, that would be ideal, And I've got actually. basic bandages, too, if you need them. No, I've got basic, just not medical. What's I'll just drop this broken glass for a sec while I... Oh, it's okay, I'll grab it. There. You grab the first aid bunch. No, no, it's, it's okay. I, <laughs> I just brought up the console for some reason. Ah, no I was like, oh, this looks funny. I don't know what I did. I'm switching to my uh, pistol for now. I've got rad remover on my this... pistol. So... I haven't come across any irradiators. I came across a couple of ferals. Because yeah. they've got the glowy eyes. Yeah. Well, right now, everything is treated as a feral because it's nighttime. Yeah, but the, the actual ferals that have the glowy eyes have seem to have a lot more health. Like, they take about six or seven hits, right? whereas the others take maybe, well, actually, maybe more than that. The others take about four or five hits to go down. My lord, this is. With the sun baton, but the ferals have more health. This is a deep. So there is a area. difference. Right. I am. Um... Right, here we are. Shall we go through here? Yeah, I've already been through here. I killed a couple, but there might still be more. Okay. Haven't been all the way in. In that case, I will switch to my crossbow. But I made noise and they ran towards me, so. Okay. I'm just going to repair my stun baton. Yeah, by all means. I think that that might be a good thing to do. Grenade schematic. <laughs> It'll also give me an extra. 
I can, I believe now, make pretty much all forms of explosives. Awesome. Shark and shells. 7.62. Here you go, c -Lab. Um, I recommend that we break, Wonderful. scrap down any dye we find because it'll all scrap into paint. Yeah. Paint is quite. Yeah. quite there might be some things that I can scrap out of this anyway, like. Yeah, be... things that break down yeah, like into cloth or, or um, yeah, leather. Yeah, just having a look. Or even scrap polymer. Brass and lead, they could smelt those. Don't, yeah, don't don't scrap those because we'll get more from smelting them. Yeah. But anything that breaks down into cloth, paper, um, leather, polymers. It doesn't actually look like I've got anything that does that, unfortunately. A bandana here. Yeah, I just I have square. to be full. I do have some of your ammo, though, so that would give me an extra space. Oh, yeah, please. There you go. Is that obviously that old stack with your uh, ammo? I, I, I actually am super ammo conservative, so I'm not, I've not actually used my ammo much yet. Um, but I'm oh, right, sure so I will. New, there's that a new stack yeah. for you. But it's better that I hold Oops. it because I will eventually. It is better that you've got it just in case we have to use it, yeah. There are lots of polymers so far, but nothing much else. That was quite good that I cleared that little area out. Yeah, it was oh. actually. I'm back up to 97 health, so I just need to probably take that other bandage another bandage because i've got I've, we've got plenty no no of i've got i've got the other one that you gave me i just wanted to see how much health it restored before i took the second one understood didn't want to waste understood. it okay, okay um now. have you got dyes on you right now no have you got any kind of like mechanical parts short iron pipes iron brass brass doorknobs anything like that i've got iron lead lead fishing weights lead trophies i've got no lead sort of thing. how about i carry all brass things and that includes yep. radiators and all metal things. Okay, I'll start dropping them, yeah? Yep, by all means. I'll drop the broken glass and the paper. Okay, I'll grab iron. Uh, not the lead. You keep the lead. Okay. Oh, I just picked up lead down. So, it, uh, lead, uh, broken glass, uh, paper. There we go. Fishing weight. There we go. There we are. And there's another one. Um, have you got glass jars? Yes. Okay, I'll take those. Any kind of thing in a jar, like murky water or anything like that? I've just got bottled water, but then I also have red tea, well, so there's I've no got point some... in having the bottled water. Oh, well, I've got bottled water as well. Uh, but I'll collect it just so we can stack it better. There we yeah. go. That's a lot better, I imagine. That's giving me four spaces that I can use now. Excellent. Yeah, I've got six, so... I'll take the next couple of new stacks if we should encounter anything brand new. Uh, there's paper down here. I'll take dukes as well if you've got any. Uh, there's no real reason for you to gather the paper realistically. You can if you want to, though. Just to be thorough. Right, okay. In here, there's every possibility we're going to have nasties. There'll be loads of stuff down here, yeah. So, the quieter we can be, the safer we will be. Nothing back there. Also, s flipping off my light. Okay. Oh. Yeah, there are lights in here, so... My stun button might be... Uh, okay, right someone here. just woke up. Nope. 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 Also nope. Oh, apparently yes. I said nope. There we go. I'm being a little bit more willing to use my ammo right now, just because I've got two stacks and I kind of want to compress them. Want to, like, yeah, get rid of it. These aircon units like, are don't good. Turn your, don't turn your light on, G-Lab, but I'll just, like, bang, 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 bang. Oh, well, no. I mean, the moment I heard zombies coming, there was no point in having the light off. Yeah. Because it was like, oh, well, they're, they're awake now, and it's better that I can see them while I'm fighting them than uh, not. Do you have electrical parts exactly. and mechanical parts on you? I think I might have given them to you. Hang on. Um, yeah, I think you've got those. Cool. So I'm collecting more. Unless they were left in the sink on the, on the thing upstairs. Shouldn't have been. I pressed R and it, it closed the inventory. If you press R and it closes the inventories, it means you've extracted it's, everything It's taken from. everything, yeah. It's kind of a shorthand. But yeah, it looks like this uh, this area comes up into the next... next uh, point. And it's really interesting because it's just an unassuming house. It's like the house that we're in right now. That would probably yeah. have been a level three um, house. Here's some paper and some lead. 
Thank you kindly. Uh, nothing in there. But yeah, it's very, very uh, cool to find these just little unassuming houses with, with you know, massive labs yeah. underneath them. Uh, we don't know what we're going up to. Everyone up knew that the end was coming, so they all built bunkers. Well, no, at houses. this point, it's more like, yeah, th maybe the end came from this bunker, you know? Probably, yeah. Right, we're going into a new area, but mm, we're going to need a bit of light. Be able to see. Can I have my crossbow ready? Okay, I'm going to wait for you to sneak. Yeah, yeah. Not seeing anything yet. There's uh, plenty of potential for things to drop on us in here. Let's mm -hmm. move softly. Unlock door. It's fine. It's closed. So if there's something behind it, it'll have to bash its way. No, it's just letting us know that it's there. It, growl. It's a sleeper. Right, okay. Softly. Softly. I can see it on the ground. It's still asleep. There's some glass on the floor here. I'm going to try and... Oh, it's waking up. Pump in the head. It's dead. The scope nice. is amazing. Thank you so much for it. That was beautiful. Right. Nothing. Okay, we're probably going to have to keep going up. But for right now... There is a door back there. That's yeah, I recommend unlocked. we leave we that may... closed. We may need to kill a zombie inside it to clear the Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Area, but though. let's let, loot this yeah. room first. For now. Yeah. For now, yes. There's um, paper in that uh, bookshelf. Okay. Grab that. Uh, some denim pants. Do you want denim pants? Um, no. I'm fine. Thank you. Then I will scrap that into... It is daytime. Whatever it and is. And all of a sudden, the, the the bunker is all lit up. Even though... <laughs> I know, right? Uh, I'm for... Oh, did I, did I get paint out of that as well? That's actually something worth looking at. I've got 45 paint right now. Did I... No. So, yeah. If you scrap something with a mod in it, you lose those mods. The mod. It's a bit of a shame. Uh, Lost a little bit of blue dye and uh, a bit of brown dye, but it's really nothing. It looks like we're going up and up and up yeah. from here. Shall we keep going until we're out of here? Because I should imagine we're almost there. Or we could just I'd... leave it on a bit of a cliffhanger. Well, I think, yeah, let's do a cliffhanger. <laughs> she <laughs> and lady after my own heart. Okay, right then. Thank you very much for joining us, everyone. We've almost cleared out this, uh, this tier three quest i am being super scavenging uh scavengy right now um specifically yeah. because we need to build up our forged iron supplies so mostly i'm going for for metal yeah but, you so know, iron and things to may as well get metal. anything that's made of uh brass and lead while we're here but that's going to be it for us hope you enjoyed hope to see you in the next but until next time and as always take care everyone and keep being awesome